రెండు దశాబ్దాలుగా తెలంగాణ ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ లో కాంపిటేటివ్ రంగంలో తిరుగులేని సంస్థ రమయ్య కాంపిటేటివ్ కోచింగ్ సెంటర్ తెలంగాణ గురుకుల టీచర్స్ జేఎల్స్ డిఎల్స్ టిజిటి పిజిటి పిఇటి పిడి లైబ్రేరియన్స్ కొరకు స్టేట్ ర్యాంక్స్ తో పాటు వేల సంఖ్యలో అభ్యర్థులను ఉపాధ్యాయులుగా తీర్చిదిద్దిన డైరెక్టర్ సిరికొండ లక్ష్మీనారాయణ గారి సారథ్యంలో స్టేట్ ఫ్రేమ్ ఫ్యాకల్టీస్ చే ఆన్లైన్ అండ్ ఆఫ్లైన్ బోధన అందించే ఏకైక సంస్థ రామయ్య కాంపిటేటివ్ కోచింగ్ సెంటర్ దిల్సుఖ్ నగర్ హైదరాబాద్ నూరు శాతం నూతన సిలబస్ ఆధారంగా ఆఫ్లైన్ అండ్ ఆన్లైన్ లలో బోధన ఆన్లైన్ కోచింగ్ కొరకు డౌన్లోడ్ చేయండి రామయ్య కాంపిటేటివ్ కోచింగ్ సెంటర్ మొబైల్ యాప్ ప్లే స్టోర్ అండ్ యాప్ స్టోర్ లలో లభ్యం ఆన్లైన్ కోచింగ్ లో అన్ని కోర్సులు తక్కువ ఫీజు తో వన్ ఇయర్ వ్యాలిడిటీ తో పాటు వన్ మంత్ త్రీ మంత్స్ సిక్స్ మంత్స్ నైన్ మంత్స్ వ్యాలిడిటీ ప్యాకేజీలు అందుబాటులో కలవు పూర్తి వివరాలకు సంప్రదించండి నైన్ టూ ఫోర్ సిక్స్ టూ జీరో ఎయిట్ ఫోర్ డబల్ టూ ట్రిపుల్ ఎయిట్ డబల్ ఫైవ్ డబల్ ఫైవ్ టూ జీరో టూ హాయ్ గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ దిస్ ఇస్ సతీష్ కెమిస్ట్రీ ఫ్యాకల్టీ ఫ్రమ్ రామయ్య కాంపిటేటివ్ కోచింగ్ సెంటర్ సో టుడే వీఆర్ డిస్కసింగ్ అబౌట్ అనదర్ న్యూ టాపిక్ హైడ్రో కార్బన్స్ ఇన్ హైడ్రో కార్బన్స్ వీ హ్యావ్ జనరల్లీ ఆల్కేన్స్ ఆల్కీన్స్ ఆల్కైన్స్ అండ్ ఆరోమాటిక్ హైడ్రో కార్బన్ దట్ ఈస్ బెన్జిన్ సో రిగార్డింగ్ ఆల్కేన్స్ ఆల్కీన్స్ ఆల్కైన్స్ అండ్ బెన్జిన్ ద హోల్ చాప్టర్ వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ ద ప్రిపరేషన్ మెథడ్స్ ప్రిపరేషన్ మెథడ్స్ అండ్ properties also conversions conversions example in the fu- the first topic is if i take alkanes alkanes are the hydrocarbons in which we have the general formula cn h2 n plus 2 where n is equals to 1 onwards 1 onwards now here if i see preparation methods preparations of alkenes so in this first one from the reduction of alkyl halides from the reduction of alkyl halides so in case of hydrocarbons especially alkane the reducing agents if i take if i take the reducing agents in the reducing agents generally we have zinc in presence of acetic acid zinc in presence of hcl similarly zinc copper couple lithium aluminum hydride in presence of ether hydrogen iodide in presence of red phosphorus sodium borohydride in presence of ethanol aluminum and amalgam that is aluminum amalgam are the important reducing agents another important reagent is also there that is that is most important reagent that is triphenyl hydride the triphenyl hydride is hydride suppose say these all are the reducing agents another one h all the reducing agents are there you may take any type of alkyl halide see here the general reaction can be written like this alkyl halide suppose say 
R X when reacted with any Greek that is re reducing agent reducing agent it reduces the alkyl halide into alkane loss of HX thus alkanes are formed alkanes are formed here one important important information is suppose say if you have lithium aluminum hydride it converts primary secondary alkyl halides into alkane primary secondary alkyl halides into alkane tertiary alkyl halide into alkene it produces lithium aluminum hydride is said to be a reagent where primary secondary alkyl halides have been converted into alkanes and tertiary alkyl halides are converted into alkenes similarly sodium borohydride if you take some another important information is there regarding sodium borohydride in presence of ethanol the ethanol solution of sodium borohydride acts as a reducing agent it reduces secondary and tertiary alkyl halides into alkanes but do not reduce primary alkyl halide primary alkyl halide that is if you see the importance lithium aluminium hydride the reagent has some speciality that it can reduce primary secondary alkyl halides into alkanes but tertiary alkyl halides into alkenes whereas in case of sodium borohydride sodium borohydride it reduces secondary and tertiary alkyl halides into alkanes but do not reduce primary alkyl halides whatever may be the reagent or whatever may be the nature of alkyl halide all they get converted into alkanes except this one except tertiary alkyl halide see here we will write some examples here suppose if I take a CH3 CH2 Cl when reacted with zinc in presence of acid it produces CH3 CH3 loss of HCl loss of HCl suppose if add on this particular reagent lithium aluminium hydride again the product is to be same on the same reagent if I add sodium borohydride in presence of ethanol solution ethanol solution no reaction it won't react lithium aluminum hydride won't react here and uh, suppose if I take another example chlorine if you take any reducing agent like zinc in presence of HCl HI in presence of red phosphorus or lithium aluminium hydride in presence of ether again it produces alkane ah, here also sodium borohydride you can also add 
in presence of ethanol solution it produces alkane suppose if i take a another reagent suppose tertiary alkyl halide is there in case of tertiary alkyl halide if i add hi in presence of red phosphorus i will get isobutane on this if i add sodium borohydride in presence of ethanol again i will get isobutane but on this particular substance if i add lithium aluminum hydride in presence of ether solution here i'll get isobutene it is called isobutene with tertiary alkyl halide lithium aluminum hydride produces what we call alkene as a product alkene as a important product suppose example if it is given like this chlorine if i add sodium borohydride in presence of ethanol solution and if i add lithium aluminum hydride in presence of ether solution ether solution then here i will get alkene here i will get alkene most substituted alkene are highly substituted alkenes are formed so these are some of the important reactions see here all the reagents are producing alkyl halides have been converted into alkenes one more important aspect is there with respect to hi in presence of red phosphorus sometimes the question may be asked like this what is the role of red phosphorus the role of red phosphorus is see here suppose if i take a ch3 chi ch2 ch3 two iodo butane is the compound now here i am taking only the reducing agent that is first i am taking hi hi in presence of red phosphorus if i take it produces ch3 ch2 ch2 ch3 plus i2 plus it produces i2 in order to balance the equation if i take this one 3 moles and this is 3 moles i'll get this 3 moles under 3 iodines 3 iodines you have 3 moles now the phosphorus which is used in the reaction red phosphorus combines with the, the iodine formed in the reaction produces 2 pi3 phosphorus triiodide phosphorus triiodide if you write the overall equation what happens 3 ch3 chi CH two, CH three, reacting with the red phosphorus in presence of HI produces CH three, CH two, CH two, CH three plus. 2 pi3 so in the examination the question may be asked like this 
based on role of the red phosphorus. Actually, what is happening? If red phosphorus is absent in the reaction, it may progress the reverse reaction. Clear? It may process the reverse reaction in order to prevent that one. Red phosphorus is used to absorb total amount of iodine which is formed in the reaction. Forms Pi3. It forms Pi3. So this is with respect to HI. With respect to HI. Now, I will close this, this particular preparation with one particular suitable example. If I add so lithium aluminium hydride in presence of ether, if it is tertiary, then only it produces alkene, but it is secondary, it produces alkane only. If I add aluminium amalgam, also I will get alkane. Same type of products are formed. So this is preparation of alkane from alkyl halide. And another important reaction is decarboxylation. So decarboxylation means removal of carbon dioxide. Now here, if I take a, the reagent, that is soda lime, sodium hydroxide in presence of calcium oxide. Sodium hydroxide in presence of calcium oxide. The role of calcium oxide in this is it absorbs moisture in the reaction. Example, for this the reactant is R C double bond O O N A that is sodium salt of carboxylic acid sodium salt of carboxylic acid when reacted with soda lime so usually elimination of carbon dioxide in the form of sodium carbonate takes place and this hydrogen will attack see here Na2C 1 2 3 oxygens sodium carbonate is the byproduct and the main product is alkane the main product is alkane now if I write there one more example see here Mm. This is sodium acetate when reacted with sodium hydroxide in presence of calcium oxide. Sodium carbonate is the byproduct methane. Methane plus sodium carbonate. So in this particular reaction, in the decarboxylation reaction, one thing you can, you need to note, that is, the alkane minimum number of carbons, alkane, formed is methane. But the reactant, it must not be sodium formate because if you take sodium formate you won't get alkane that's why sodium salt of carboxylic acid means other than sodium formate or potassium formate you can take any other carboxylate ion it results in the formation of alkane and one more important thing is alkane formed 
will have one carbon less than the reactant. It is one carbon less when compared with the reactant because during the decarboxylation one of the carbon is eliminating as carbon dioxide. One of the carbon is eliminating as carbon dioxide. So this is the importance of a decarboxylation reaction. Here carbon-carbon dissociation takes place and uh, the important concept of this particular reaction is this one. Minimum number of alkanes formed is methane. Methane can be prepared by this process. But in order to get methane, the reactant molecule should have minimum of two carbons. It should have two minimum carbons. So that is decarboxylation phenomenon. We'll write one more example in this particular category. Example. Suppose CH3, CH2, C double bond O, O N A. When it is reacted with soda lime distillation or subjected to soda lime distillation, see here. Elimination of sodium carbonate takes place in this particular manner and produces CH3, CH3 plus sodium carbonate. Sodium carbonate. Now, if you take sodium butyrate or sodium isobutyrate from the both reactants that is with sodium hydroxide sodium calcium oxide so here actually what is happening here the bond goes dissociation here the bond goes dissociation this total molecule goes along with sodium hydroxide this total molecule goes along with sodium hydroxide it results in the formation of both the cases propane so in the decarboxylation process in the decarboxylation process generally we have alkane formation takes place right so in this the alkane formed always contains one carbon less when compared with the al that is reactant so this is about decarboxylation Suppose if I take a sodium hydroxide followed by calcium oxide cyclohexane plus sodium carbonate cyclohexane plus sodium carbonate next next one is another important method third one also similar to second one that is Kolb's electrolysis. Kolb's electrolysis. So in case of Kolb's electrolysis, see here. Suppose if I take an example. When sodium salt of carboxylic acid has been taken, its aqua solution should take. That's why I'm taking water here and subject it to electrolysis. Electrolysis. Here what happens? Reaction for our convenient, I'm writing in this particular manner. And the products formed are like this. Ethane. Sodium hydroxide, next, carbon dioxide, sodium hydroxide, H2 gas. So these are the actual products which are formed. So here, these products are formed at cathode, 
generally it is a negative terminal in the electrolysis process the cathode is said to be the negative terminal and uh, these products are formed at anode which is positive terminal it is positive terminal so what how the reaction takes place for easy understanding i am giving one important uh, mechanism like this it's not said to be the mechanism but the path how the react products are formed when these two combine produces hydrogen gas sodium hydroxide carbon dioxide ethane carbon dioxide and ethane so that is in case of kolb's electrolysis hydrogen gas sodium hydroxide carbon dioxide alkane is formed now in case of kolb's electrolysis it is first what happens the acetate ion as well as na plus ion dissociates h plus ion and oh minus ion dissociates na plus h plus when they are in competition towards cathode hydrogen gas because of its low discharge potential will undergo discharge first this is the oxy anion then water molecule undergoes the uh, oxidation that is oh minus undergoes oxidation it dissociates carbon carbon bond now here a new carbon carbon bond is formed a new carbon carbon bond is formed and methane cannot be prepared methane by this process you can't prepare and sodium formate do not produce alkane means it do not it involve in kolb's electrolysis but do not produce alkane because in order to produce alkane minimum number of carbons required by the carboxylic acid are two the carboxylate ion should have should have minimum of two carbons minimum of two carbons so that is kolb's electrolysis so in case of kolb's electrolysis if i take some more examples like this example ch3 ch2 ona aqua solution if i subject it to electrolysis ch3 ch2 c double bond o na electrolysis it produces plus carbon dioxide plus h2 plus naoh to naoh if you if you understand the concept clearly you will note one important point here that is from here bond dissociation is taking place if you take only one type of carboxylate rather than mixture of carboxylates then always the product formed will have even number of carbons even number of carbons what i mean to say is 
If you take a two carbon containing carboxylic acid, we discussed earlier, here you have only two carbons. Again you are getting an alkane with two carbons only. Suppose, if you take three carbon containing carboxylic acid, I am getting four carbon containing alkane. Here I am not concentrating on the number, but how many number of carbons are there in the alkane is very, very important. What I mean to say is, the major product always formed, if you take a simple carboxylate, only one carboxylate ion is subjected to electrolysis. Sodium carboxylate when subjected to electrolysis, it results in the formation of alkane which produces or which consisting of only even number of carbons. Suppose you may have doubt like this. That is, so what happens if I take a mixture of carboxylic acids? A mixture of carboxylic acid aqua solutions when subjected to electrolysis electrolysis see here this can react with this type of another molecule and it can react with molecule of this type second product if that is happening I am taking like this if first compound is reacting with another first compound ethane second compound is reacting with same type of another compound producing this one, if this reacts with this, it produces CH3, CH2, CH3. But majority of the products formed are only this. So this is Kolb's electrolysis. In case of Kolb's electrolysis, the reaction progresses anionic mechanism. Now if I take another example, suppose aqueous solution when subjected to electrolysis it produces you can have like this plus carbon dioxide NaOH H2 suppose if it is Dicarboxylic acid is there within the molecule. Electrolysis. Bond cuts here, bond cut, cutting takes place here. This forms a radical, this forms a radical, and both reacts produce as alkene. They produce as alkene rather than this product. This is minor product. And this is major product. Suppose if this is the reactant and it is subjected to electrolysis and it is subjected to electrolysis chance is there to produce such type of product because Cutting of bond takes place like this. Radical, radical can form a bond here. You can get cyclohexane. And another possibility is there. This is the product. But in this case, this is major. And this is minor. What happens in, th in these two type of reactions? See here. The reaction after anionic, it gets converted into radical, so carbon dioxide will eliminate in the reaction. If you see the mechanism of the reaction, you can clearly conclude how the product is taking place. Example, I'll, I'll write the mechanism. After all, I'll come to this example. Suppose CH3, C double bond O, O, N, A. So what happens here? 
सी एच थ्री सी डबल बॉन्ड वो ओ माइनस प्लस एन ए प्लस सो इन द रिएक्शन यू हैव वाटर इज आल्सो देयर बट डोंट राइटिंग ऑफ वाटर लाइक दिस इज नॉट कन्वीनियंट बट फॉर इजी अंडरस्टैंडिंग आई एम गिविंग लाइक दिस लो हियर एट कैथोड Among these two cations, H plus comes over there, produces H two gas. H two gas under it anode. So from here, total H plus has been converted here. Na plus is there in the solution. Now, whatever the electrons which are required for that reduction process, so each acetate ion will undergo oxidation there, loses an electron like this. So what I mean to say is, you are writing negative charge means oxygen is having one extra electron. oxygen is having one extra electron and that electron has been loosed so it remains with a radical like the two acetate ions are there it loses two electrons these two electrons are absorbed by h plus now the ch3 c double bond o o minus radical undergoes chain propagation reaction makes carbon carbon bond homolytic cleavage as a result you will get a dot here dot here two ch3 dots plus co2 gas is formed and these dots radical highly unstable they combine together forms sir CH3, CH3. So that's why carbon dioxide and ethane are formed at anode. Hydrogen gas is liberating at cathode. Na plus is there and OH minus is there. When these two are there, you will get NaOH. So here one important aspect is there. That is when sodium acetate, if you take, it is weak acid strong base salt it is weak acid strong base salt its ph value is greater than 7 so this is before electrolysis it is greater than 7 means i'm not saying that it is related to Thirteen, uh, fourteen, or ten, twelve, like that. Salt is there. Its pH value is greater than seven. That's it. Around eight, nine, like that. But after electrolysis, due to formation of NaOH, pH value increases much more than seven. What I mean to say is, before electrolysis, suppose say it is eight point two. But after electrolysis, its pH value becomes more than eight point two, more than eight point two. So this is ah uh, some side uh, extra questions. Now what I am saying is, see the mechanism here. So due to formation of radical, radical formation is taking place at anode. Once the carboxylate ion is losing electrons. Now come to our previous question. Why happening here? So this is radical. Means from here you will get a radical like this. Di radical. So radicals are quite unstable. So intramolecular reaction takes place. Within the molecule, radical formation takes place. That's why you will get this product. Suppose if this is the case, from here, 
on sp2 carbon you are getting radical that's why quite unstable and formation of alkyne is not there we will get major product uh, this one so this is about electrolysis kolb's electrolysis suppose one more example is there in that that is suppose a compound is taken like this o n e when this is subjected to electrolysis when this is subjected to electrolysis then dissociation takes place here it produces dimethyl cyclopropane dimethyl cyclopropane is the product formed so this is about kolb's electrolysis suppose if you have a benzene ring is there suppose say c double bond o o n e c double bond o o n e if this is the reaction reactant is there and when this is subjected to electrolysis electrolysis bond dissociation takes place like this produces within the molecule the reaction takes place right so these are the kolb's electrolysis reactions next one we have woods reaction so somewhat this is very very important so here alkyl halides when reacted with sodium metal in presence of dry ether conditions dry ether conditions it produces rr plus nax simple mechanism can be written like this rx sodium metal rx like this 2 nas x is removed produces rr plus 2 nax rr plus 2 nax so in case of woods reaction so one important thing is there here also you can't prepare methane how a new carbon carbon bond is formed that's why methane cannot be prepared methane cannot be prepared by this process and always even number of alkane even number of carbon containing alkane forms major product even number of carbon containing alkane forms as major product so in case of the sodium metal which actually acts as radical in that see here sodium metal because of one electron in the 3s orbital behaves as a radical due to presence of 3s one electronic configuration or orbital electron 3s orbital electron next uh, one example i will write here suppose if it is ch3 ch2 cl when reacted with sodium metal and dry ether condition produces ch3 ch2 
CH2, CH3 as a major product. Suppose if I take a tertiary alkyl halide, sodium metal is formed. It produces sodium metal in presence of dry ether condition. It produces CH3, CH2, CH3. Ah, that's why tertiary alkyl halide do not produce Woods product. It do not produce Woods product. Because during the course of the reaction, what happens? It produces a tertiary radical which is more stable. So the lifespan of this is said to be more stable. So internal chain progression takes place like this. What I mean to say is, if I take a, this as CH2H, this radical on, again makes that carbon hydrogen bond uh, homolytic, uh, produces alkene. Alkene. So here, suppose if I take a chlorine, chlorine and chlorine, then dry ether condition with sodium metal, it produces a bicyclo compound that is bond dissociation takes place here radical radical combines a product so this is called intramolecular woods reaction intramolecular woods reaction now if this is the product is there reactant here one chlorine is there if I take sodium metal in presence of dry ether condition, homolytic cleavage, homolytic cleavage, this carbon bond forms with this. See here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 member ring is formed adjacent to that benzyl ring. So such type of products can be estimated based on Wood's reaction. Right? So these are some of the examples regarding or important reactions regarding the preparations of alkanes.